Automated static analysis is a process of automating reverse engineering. It is really about applying reverse engineering processes to investigate the objects. And these objects can be either binary or textual objects, and they can either have code or data within them. It really doesn't matter. The end goal of automated static analysis is decomposing these objects. It's to collect the metadata about the objects. It's to reason about that metadata and ultimately classify the objects into buckets of malicious or good. That's what automated static analysis does. There is a term which is called uh, static application security testing, which usually people confuse with automated static analysis. They are related, but they are really uh, going after different outcomes. Uh, static analysis is, as I said, about classification. It's about reasoning. Uh, application testing is about analyzing the code. Whether or not that code is binary or textual, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, it's a tool which assists programmers to create applications which are secure. And in that term, uh, application security testing is a subset of automated static analysis. They complement each other well. But when we're talking about automated static analysis, we're really talking about five different steps an organization must take to fully investigate what an object is. First, it starts with identifying what an object is. Is that binary or text? And once we know which one of those two is, what type of a format it is. Because usually when you're talking about automating anything, you're really talking about analyzing structured data. And that's where identification comes in. Knowing that something is a document is, is a lot different uh, from knowing that's an actual application. So that's the first step. Uh, once we know what the object is, we know its specification, and then we can validate the specification. So the second step is exactly that, validating if the format is according to the specification. And the differences between you know, what's defined and what's implemented is where subset of automated static analysis is. That's that vulnerability detection. Anything which is outside the norm might trigger a parsing vulnerability. So those types of things can be caught with just validation. But ultimately, that's not enough because this code can be both obfuscated, it can be compressed. So to get to what it's actually trying to do, we need to reverse that as well. So we need to decompress, we need to deobfuscate, and getting to the final you know, code is a process we call unpacking. So unpacking is reversing the actual protections the code might, might have. While we're doing these steps, identification, validation, and unpacking, we're collecting all sorts of metadata. And that metadata helps us define what the format is all about, what's its raw content, you know? Uh, and that is what we call metadata collection. All this metadata collected also needs to be interpreted, and translating that raw metadata into human-readable and explainable data is a process which happens during metadata collection. And then ultimately, the fifth and final step is classification. Deciding or not that something is malicious can happen at any number of these stages. The format might be used only for malicious purposes. It might not be according to spec. Uh, it might be format specifically used to uh, hide malicious payload. Or the metadata might be pointing to certain oddities which are only attributed to malicious content, which yields ultimately five classification that something is malicious.